2017 Ford Shelby GT350 Drivers Notes My Blue Heaven It seems all the stops were pulled when developing the Ford Shelby GT350. Everything, from the engine to the suspension to the car's styling, looks and feels the part. Yes, it's a Mustang, but it doesn't just feel like a Mustang with more power. It's more than the sum of its parts. And this particular car has a number of extras, some good, some a little unnecessary, from Ford Performance. The best part is all of these parts are covered for 3 years or 36,000 miles. Ford Performance Wheel Center Caps, $192. 2015 to 2017 Shelby GT350 Active Catback Sport Exhaust System, $2,395. 2015 to 2017 Shelby GT350 Air Filter $89 2015 to 2017 Shelby GT350 Shifter Kit Without Knob, $359 2015 to 2017 Shelby GT350 Oil Separator Bundle, $398 Powered by Ford Performance Badge, $98 Mustang 5.0 liters Coyote Ford Performance Coil Cover Ford Performance, $300. 2015 to 2017 Shelby GT350 Lowering Springs, $359. Ford Performance GT356 Speed Shift Knob, Red, $79. 2015 to 2017 Mustang Ford Performance Windshield Banner, $50. Senior producer Christopher McGraw, look what color it is, Reese, our associate editor and vehicle manager extraordinaire, said as he handed me the familiar bulbous key fob adorned with a cobra. I looked down at the tag. Grabber blue. My favorite color. The Ford Shelby Mustang GT350 has always been one of my favorite cars. Growing up, I had a model of a 1965 GT350 sitting on my shelf. The same model now sits on my desk at work. This is the fourth GT350 that I have had the pleasure of driving, and what makes this one different are the added Ford performance parts. There's not a whole lot to say. This car is about as perfect as you can get at this price point. The Ford performance shifter improves it, but only slightly. Personally, I'd lose the windshield decal and Ford performance emblems on the side and instead opt for the regular GT350 variants. The only gripe I can muster is that it doesn't play well on wet pavement, but that's hardly surprising. It sounds great in sport exhaust mode, though it was nice to be able to toggle that on and off while pulling out of my driveway at 6.30 in the morning. Nice for the neighbors at least. It's good to listen to, great to look at and even better to drive. Associate Editor Reese Counts at the heart of the GT350 is what I believe to be one of the best engines any automaker has ever produced. This 8-cylinder ode to joy packs everything I love about naturally aspirated engines into a 5.2-liter package. Power comes on smoothly, kicking and screaming all the way to the 8,250 revolutions per minute redline. The flat plane crank helps the revs crest and fall as quickly as the lines on a heart rate monitor. Then there's the sound. It's a mix of deep, hairy-chested American muscle with a heaping dose of Italian seasoning. It's a wholly unique thing. The car isn't perfect. Visibility is limited, especially at night. On the highway, the tires like to catch the grooves. It was a little unnerving, especially in the rain. It doesn't help that the steering is a little dead on center. It never felt out of control, just not as buttoned down as a lot of other cars. Still, I love this car. It's beautiful, though grabber blue isn't my thing. All of the Ford performance parts really do make this car better. Unlike a lot of setups, the suspension doesn't really affect ride quality. The lowering springs did make it look pretty mean. If it was my money, I'd ditch the exhaust and all the dumb graphics and stick with the short throw shifter, suspension and oil separator. Hopefully prices settle down a bit, because I'd really like to find one of these in a few years.